and welcome back to my channel and you can call me blue i don't know if i have told this to my channel yet but yeah i want to go by blue or caitlin instead of derpy on my gaming channel and it's on my art channel because i think it's time for a little bit of change but anyways i can say thank you to my boyfriend for that one but let's get started so if you didn't know what the game is yet this game is called pocket love and it's made by like beard gaming or something like that i can't remember off the top of my head but it's called pocket love and no i'm not sponsored sadly but i just think y'all should play because it's a very fun game and basically you get to move in with your online partner along with a pet and create your own home anyways this is the first room but before i talk about this room i would just like to quickly say my name in the game is blue and my boyfriend's name is okami and then our dog's name is luna and gizmo yes we own two but yeah in this room i wanted it to be like kawaii and cozy with bunches of pink and i guess this would be more of like one of the guest rooms but also like one of the rooms that someone else could rent out like if they had a small family or it's just like a person you know kind of like somewhere where someone would live like maybe their grandma or something like that i don't know it came out very pretty um but i kind of wanted the room to just kind of be like a side room too like i said um I feel like um, maybe, like, they couldn't, like, own a home, so they rented it. So, yeah. I made sure to add in a TV and a couch so they could have some comfort. Just stay in their own little place. And then, for whatever reason, I decided to add in a flamingo, and he does have a name. His name is Mr. Pink. And he watches over the people while they're in there to make sure that they're safe and nothing happens. Um, I also wanted to put in a cat scratch, which you'll see in a second, or whatever it's called. I don't know if it is a cat scratcher. I'm unsure. But, yeah, that. That thing. Uh, in case of, like, the people had a pet and they wanted to give it this own little space. So, yeah. Another thing I really like is the wallpaper I chose for it. It's a very pretty pink and it kind of looks like a crown pink. And then I like the white baseboard. It really ties the place together. Um, but then I added in some entertainment because of course you know they need entertainment i decided to put in a bookcase like a little reading nook type of area along with a guitar because the guitar happened to be like a reddish pink color so i thought it would be a perfect candidate and then the reading area i kind of let go on like the color scheme but yeah um another thing i really wanted to do with this room is make it have like a lot of plants in here so it could be very cozy and, I don't know, maybe they would be, like, plant parents. Because there's always plant parents, you know. I also had troubles with the rugs. I didn't exactly know what I wanted to do with the rugs. But I finally came to a conclusion. The reading nook would have the pink beige-ish looking carpet. And then in front of the bed would have the little frog one. And then I felt like the walls were still kind of bare. So I added in another thing with a plant on it, along with a stuffed animal. Added in more books. And then I added in one more shelf, I believe, with, yeah, I and I, <laughs> I added in another shelf with books and a plant. And then I'm pretty sure that's all that I did to this room. I really like it, and I like how it's pink, very, very pink. And it just looks nice. Oh, did I add in another thing? I don't remember this. Well, if I did, I guess, okay. I guess I did. No, I didn't. I got rid of it. Okay, but yeah, that's the first room, and you'll see the characters change a bit because I changed it a bit. Anyways, moving on to this upstairs area, I have this very blank-looking room, and you can see both my dogs, Luna and Gizmo there, and then you also saw our characters. But this room, yet again, will be another very pink, kawaii-looking room. But this room, I'm making more of a arcade theme because I figured that would look best for this room. I don't... Yeah, I kept the walls basic because I couldn't like figure out what to do, but I did have like pink windows and then I wanted the neon heart. I pretty much just threw everything I wanted out into the open and then I reorganized everything because I find that's the easiest way to do it all. So, yeah, I wanted to make sure that this area was very cozy and arcade like because uh, me and my boyfriend, we both like arcade stuff. So I figured this would be. A good thing to have 
So I ended up having two purple arcade machines, one pink and one blue. And I wanted to make sure that I made like a little pattern so the two purples wouldn't be touching. But I even had this little pink TV and it looks so cute. And then I have this ball pit which I thought would fit into like kind of like an arcade type of thing. I don't really know why but I thought it looked cute. And then of course I added in another guitar because I guess it's kind of more like an entertainment room. I thought it looked cool. It looks pretty cool so far. I really enjoy it. But the end results are like super cool to me. I really like it. But I wanted the TV set up more in the corner because I felt like that would be the most appropriate. Then I wanted the window somewhere on the other wall because I remember like the room next to it is going to be like a another room. So I didn't want a window looking into it because that felt a little weird. But yeah, here I am doing the pattern. I did blue, purple, pink, purple, I guess. And I put the guitar right there. And then I think, yeah, I put the heart more towards the middle because it made more sense to me. I mean, it's kind of weird if it's just chilling somewhere else. But yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure I get rid of that cat chair because it doesn't fit in. Plus, I wanted something with two stools that would look better together instead of cat chair, a singular one. And then I had, like, these little ping pong machines or whatever they're called. I don't remember exactly what they are. But, yeah, I thought they looked good. And then I'm pretty sure I moved the ball pit more towards the middle of everything so it looks more clean. Yes, I do have a second ball pit, so I'm probably going to end up making a second arcade area. I wanted to just keep the pink one to keep with the theme of, like, more pretty colors. Like, blue is pretty, don't get me wrong. It's my favorite one. But I wanted to make sure that... I would have the pink one in there because I really like the pink, even though my favorite color isn't pink, which I wasn't being biased for once, which was interesting. So I've been just looking at this, and I'm like, I really love the floor for this room because it's just a little checkered, and then some of the checkers have little hearts on them, and they look really cute. Also, while I was building this room, I really considered getting um, another flamingo to put in the room, but I decided against it. And then, you know what every room needs is a plant in the corner. And then, I forgot I had these, like, little console things. And then I decided to place those on the floor because I couldn't really place them on things. And then I added in a trash can because most arcades I, like, think of, like, food being up in there. Because, you know, grimy little kids. Also, here was me struggling trying to put this in the middle. And then I'm going to struggle again because I decided that this room still needed more stuff. Like this one bare corner that's still here. But you know, that's aight. So then I saw these stools and I had two of them. I'm like, you know what? We're going to put two stools here in a second. So I get rid of that. And then I place on the other stool. And look how cute. Little gamer stools. I know that's what they're really not called, but I wanted to. Oh, also if you looked at my inventory, I had a duck. And I was thinking about putting that in there instead of... The flamingo after a little bit and then i decided that i needed a carpet in here to kind of decipher the place i think that's my word and then i went with this little leaf rug which i really like which if i can i want to get another one because it can go in a few other rooms because it just looks really pretty and i don't know if i added anything else i was really adamant about having another carpet oh yeah i put this carpet in front of the little machines things i can't remember exactly what they're called and i thought i tied the place together a little bit uh, i placed the ball pit back and then yeah we're done with it anyways i hope you like this video